this is Metal High Priestess, also known as Metal Babe of Guardians of Our Galaxy Botanica, LLC. Welcome, welcome. <sighs> okay, so welcome guys. Thank you so much for all the likes. Let's get some more people in here. I really appreciate you guys. So we have some new love connection and ending on a relationship or a foundation, I see. Are we good? This table's gonna fall apart. <laughs> Welcome back. Hi, Naomi. So, Ten of Pentacles in reverse is the first pile. The Four of Swords, putting things to rest. Some healing needs to be done and is being done. Past, present, or future. Okay, we have the Four of Cups. It's this is already telling me that someone here is reflecting on making a new move or a movement forward. Uh, so this is good movement forward, um, but there will be a time period where this person is reflecting. We have the Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, so there may be people against this new relationship, but these people are immature. They're not evolved. They don't see transformation as this person sees the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So these are people that are working against your love life, maybe. These could be co-workers on this masculine or feminine energy. Okay. Thank you. The next part is we have the Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Third party situation or a lot of healing needs to be done. The Dark Knight of the Soul needs to be done as well. But when you're reaching this dark night of the soul, it's gonna bring you to great happiness. Wish fulfillment, the Ten of Cups is here. But everything is is at a cost, you know? As far as the eye can see. At the bottom of the deck, we have the lovers, fear, and communication. This person's intimidated by you, whether they want to give you this love offer or not. They see how much you've grown, they see your progress, they see what you represent. Okay, so this is, she says, the final outcome. So welcome guys, we're gonna read each pile and see what's going on with this person. So this is someone already maybe in a relationship right now. Take what resonates. The Ace of Pentacles is sliding out, okay? Thank you, thank you, your energy. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for the hearts. Please follow me on YouTube for more readings, more collective readings. This person says they don't want to miss an opportunity. They've returned to a foundation. They see you've leveled up, Divine Feminine. Okay, you may have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces in your birth chart. Okay, Ten of Pentacles in reverse with the Six of Swords in reverse. This is showing me that this person, thank you, uh, in, a, in their recent past, have returned. First off, yeah, Maferefum bendiciones, salam alaikum. Okay, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This person may have returned to a foundation of their past, long term uh, relationship or family commitment. But they return to a faulty foundation. There's nothing really there. There's nothing there uh, for this person. There's no growth. She says there's no spiritual growth. So if this person's into spirituality or you are into spirituality, maybe you have returned to a relationship and there's no, there's no expansion there. There's no space. Five of Cups in reverse and the Chariot. This is talking about taking action to move forward for the things that you love and the things you desire in this lifetime all we have is right now right the queen of cups is accompanied by the nine of cups unconditional love this is uh saying yeah absolutely you are in this nine of cups energy unconditional love forgiveness and understanding uh you're the type of person that takes action you're the type of person that will transmute grief into stability into transformation into progress absolutely cancer scorpio pisces may be on your birth chart cancer may be in your birth chart uh this person may have cancer cancer scorpio pisces in their birth chart 
You have a deep knowing you're very connected to spirit. Okay. This person doesn't want to miss an opportunity with you. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. And the Four of Pentacles. So they're holding on to this. And in the past, if you're still holding on to any grief, remember, please, it's time to transmute that energy, that grief into action, which you have, okay? There are people in this pile here who are against this relationship or against you receiving any relationship, period. So let's block them, right? Because you're going to give yourself everything that you deserve because you love unconditionally and you know your self-worth, which is why you're at a Nine of Cups and the Queen of Cups. And you have boundaries now, right? With how much you're going to give out and how much you're going to receive. Okay. This person's... This person you're interacting with, whether you're in communication or not, I'm hearing that you are in communication for some of you, but it's like little conversations here and there. For some of you, it's a coworker. Or I'm hearing, I want to work with you. So you offer this person something here that this person may not receive in whatever foundation they're already in, okay? The next pile here, the Four of Swords, is laying things to rest. This is meditation. This is stillness. This is making a decision. My guy said, my, my guy just said, no past people. I don't think there's past people here. Yeah. You've walked away from someone that is eating your energy, your energy vampire ex. <laughs> okay. This would be one of the persons against you receiving new love. I heard I deserve you. So I don't know if this is a new person or the past person, but that sounded very like I deserve you. So I'm not sure. Okay. The four of swords. You're isolated. You are so isolated. Wow. Okay, for whoever this is, you're absolutely highly intuitive. You're able to rest. You're able to meditate. You're also able to put, lay down your sword. You're also able to relax. You like your isolation. You like to be undisturbed. High priestess energy. You're actually able to focus on the things that spirit is saying, oh, no, no, we got to do this or this has to be first. Spirit is saying that you're very organized with their communication and you speak to spirit you're actually very open please keep talking to your guides out in the open okay this is what's been keeping you in alignment with your intuition keep staying focused on your spiritual journey if you're into someone who may be spiritual remember that they are on their own path you have nothing to do with that you may be influencing this person but it's all about your personal journey and not putting your journey on someone else's agenda that's not what in spirituality or whatever this is for you which is just a divine connection it's they're on their path and you are on yours i'm sorry y'all it's bothering me <laughs> okay willow there we go look at this The next card out is the Eight of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune. I feel that your la your past person, okay, you had. It's like you have this beautiful abundance of luck, okay. They're showing me a rabbit. They're showing me an emerald rabbit. Now the thing is, is that this past person. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. This table. This past person sucked you dry. Uh, brought a lot of stagnant energy. You made no progress. It's like you were like the. They're showing me the bike gears. And it's just, you're like, woo -woo, woo -woo. so they're showing me that. So whoever you were with, you walked away because there's no smoothness. There's no movement forward. So it was like a push and pull, but you it's a struggle. They're showing a bike in the mud and you're still pedaling here. They're really insinuating the pedal. Okay, the next two cards out is a blocking energy and i feel like this person realizing that you're not coming back realizing that you are in the eight of cups energy like you're you're moving you chose yourself you chose your business you chose your uh longevity loyalty and self-respect and self-love which is wonderful 
you know, I'm hearing I love you, so this person may still care for you, uh, but we'll see what's on the agenda of that person as well. But we have new love on the table, okay? So, blocking energy. This person helped unblock me, okay? A lot of people, you guys have been under spiritual attack for some of you. This could have been a separation of a relationship, okay, on purpose, okay? So other people were involved. So whoever this is that doesn't want you to receive a new relationship is the same fucking people, okay, that would have affected this past relationship, okay? So be aware. You're in a high priestess energy, highly intuitive. You may have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Pisces in your birth chart. Uh, you may have Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Sagittarius in your birth chart, Capricorn in your birth chart. You need to, my ears ringing, you gotta tap into your spidey senses, okay? Check your friends list. Check, uh, you know, if you have karmic people of your past, put their phone number in and see. <laughs> I don't really want to reveal anything here, but just see if they have other profiles, okay? Do some investigation. Block these people on social media. Block them energetically. I do blocks work, so if that's something that you're interested in, okay? Please DM me a one-minute video if you want to interact with me on Instagram. Okay, stay in this high priestess energy. The spidey senses are tingling. Also, for some of you, your sh crown chakra may be heightened, okay? Tingling and pressure for some of you. Spirit with the Four of Swords is saying definitely tap in your breathing techniques, okay? I made a video on YouTube. Please go check that out on breathing techniques that help me, uh, that may help you. What may work for me may not work for you and may work for you. The next pile we have is the star card in reverse, the two of wands in reverse, the four of wands, the knight of swords. Okay, this is protecting your new foundation at all costs and to remind you that these people of your past, people, places, and things, and we, uh, they can't come, wow. This person cannot come with you. This person may come to you and say, hey, um, I'm ready. You know, I've healed, I've self-actualized about the relationship. I feel like I know I fucked up here and I'm ready for this. Right now, they're not ready. Absolutely not. Okay, there's things that are hidden in the background, Spirit is saying. So ask your spirit guides, guardian angels, your ancestors of the highest, whitest light of the Holy Spirit. I ask you, please reveal to me what is hidden. Hidden intentions of this person, hidden intentions of who is returning. Whether they be family, friends, because you were guided, right, to block certain people or even people that you just met. So there are reasons why and people need to respect that, all right? So we have the sun card in the upright, the star card in reverse, and the six of wands in reverse. There's some lies that were done behind your back out of passion from your ex, okay? There were some lies and manipulation projected Okay, the wands is about passion, communication. So this person shat on your name, this past person of yours. Out of ego, out of anger, out of unhealed energy because this person would have abandonment issues. This person is doing healing. This person's not ready to come back to you, okay? You see this red flag? Your inner child is reminding you they're not ready. Thank you so much, guys, for the hearts and the support, okay? You may still need to reflect on this, okay? Yes, justice, but this channel is not about just delivering karma or ha-ha-ha. No, I don't like that shit. This is about correcting yourself as well. In order to receive a true relationship, you have to truly get rid of that spiteful energy that you may embody as well. As we do embody the karmic energy and divine energy, the masculine and the feminine energy, regardless of what's the avatar or the skin, you know? So please correct yourself before you wreck yourselves and invite the same spirit soul into your life again. We're gonna get rid of these energies by forgiving them and understanding that this is just of someone who's trying to hold on to you because there's no one like you. 
There's only you. And there may be people that look like you, but the soul is not you. Image is image, right? Two of Wands in reverse and the Ace of Swords in reverse. This is the lies that were spoken to bring your recognition. It's like they try to absolutely, you show up as the Queen of Cups, so unconditional love and understanding and forgiving, absolutely. Never forget that. Look, the Six of Wands in reverse, the Ace of Swords in reverse. This person can't come to you until they correct this. But others, I'm hearing that others are already seeing the difference between you and this per person of your past. The lies so that they can be noticed, so that they can be seen, so that they could, there's a star in the holograph here, so that they can be empowered by the lack of you. There's no lack there. Your unconditional love. You are divine feminine with fucking boundaries, <laughs> okay? So this person, talk shit about your business or your foundation or how things were but it's showing here clearly that the foundation you had was actually beautiful you just had envious and jealous people in the energy observing you and manipulating shit in the background okay people all the way back here that you don't even fucking know their names interfering in your relationship and your foundation they don't belong there who the fuck is that so now this person trying to lift up karma to try to lift up their lies. When you already had a beautiful foundation or you had a plan or you had a blueprint of what you wanted to follow. But this person's not about your plan. They're about their own plan. You would be an accessory to this divine, this masculine energy. You're an accessory to this person. You cutting these people, places, and things, and locations out caused a lot of drama, a lot of inner conflict, a lot of inner conflict of the passion of the heart and the mind and the communication this person actually put out, which is why they were spiteful. This person was just hella spiteful that you bounced. Good. Good, good, okay. I'm very happy you guys are, okay, excellent. <laughs> so you cut this person off quick. And this person wants to know if why you're so healed. We're not, we are true, we're healed, but we're understanding of our personal value, yeah? We know our worth and you are setting a boundary. And also you're asking, for some of you, you're asking, well, how did I get triggered, okay? Well, how did this start, okay? Because of this immature energy. And I feel like for some of, I'm hearing car sex. Self-love for the wind. I'm hearing car sex. So someone may have had car sex recently, last month. That's for somebody. Okay. Things are will always be revealed. Okay. Four of Cups is here. <laughs> you have new and old energy. Okay. The Four of Cups is here. Reflecting. Okay, learning. Also discontent and boredom for some. I'm not sure who this is, whether this be, this might be both masculine energies of your past, male or female in the body or attitude or the mind. It's like both masculines are doing similar energies. Mascul I'm just gonna say masculine energy, okay? So adjust the gender, we embody everything. So if you're a masculine, if you have a, a dick, then you are, a, you know what I mean? Okay, excellent. Because I see some guys in here, all right? This massive pile with what I see here, like, I gotta be real. Like, there's a lot of un, 
immature energy within this pile already. The Three of Swords here, stress and heartache, or making you the third party, or putting you in competition with something, someone that you don't relate to, someone who is no nowhere near you. I'm hearing doppelganger, so copycat energy. If I just read the tops of the decks, of the piles, talking about this new person, they know that you're highly intuitive, that you're not allowed to be, that you don't take shit, that you're very intuitive, that you're all you already know, and that you have also, this new person of yours may also have been gone, going through similar patterns of no recognition, no reward, okay, they, this person may have Leo in their birth chart, Aquarius in their birth chart, your past person may have uh, Aries in their birth chart. You're the alchemist, you know. You gotta be careful with who you're working with because whoever wants to work with you is incredibly insecure. Uh, the, the feminine energy, this could be a mother. You may have brought... You may have brought justice into the, uh, if this is a mother figure, you may have done a return to sender or you've cleared your energy. If this is a friend, okay, this person is insecure as fuck right now, okay? The Empress in reverse. You need to watch who you're communicating with. Again, as I started this session, and I have no filter and you know, I don't mean anything, but this is, it has to be this way that you receive this message or you're just going to keep going through the same cycle. At the beginning of the reading, I was guided to say, you know, if you cut someone off, there's a reason behind it. It's nothing, you know, personal for some of you, you need, you need the isolation. If you don't like what I'm saying, scroll, please don't report, <laughs> please. But there can be something here. This person wants to work with you, learn from you. This person sees justice with you. Okay, the Three of Pentacles and the Justice card. I would be careful with this new moon. Okay, just be prepared. Okay, for cut. Because some of these people are like, why, why did you cut me off? Blah, 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 blah. And no, it's not you, my dude. I'm talking about whoever the collective here, okay? There's a reason why you were guided. And Mercury Lemonade, we have, you know, this return of people coming back. Okay, the past is trying to come back in. They're mixing emotions. Uh, also, astral traveling is here. You see how this fell off? That's how it should be. This has to go. This person's got to go. This person wants to elevate with you, okay? Whoever this is. Virgo can be in their birth chart. You may have Libra in your birth chart. Okay, this past cannot come with you. Your ships are coming in, but they're looking for a spot to dock. So if you, that's an issue that people aren't fucking understanding when you're, you know, you separate yourself, your ships can't dock. The reason why you've cut your ex off or, or certain people is because your ships are trying to dock. And you've already manifested a brand new beginning because you've already manifested this ending. So the silhouette or the vibration of a past person, your past, your ex trying to come back in. Meanwhile, they're not ready to show us up as an emperor in reverse. That's not a boss. That's a possessive person. 
entitled person. The person you're meant to be with is already grounded, already stable. And whoever this empress is may want to be stable with you, male or female. But this is something, your spiritual journey is your own walk. You can be influenced, you can be guided by a light worker, star seed. But this is something you need to do on your own. This journey is very lonely and isolated. It's supposed to be if you're actually taking it serious. Now, in a love aspect of things, you're finding yourself. The self re uh, relationship that you want with you, with self. And sometimes you have to take a step back and be like, what is the, where am I? Look in your room, look in your home. You know, what is it that I don't need? What is it that I need? There's no wanting. What do I need? What does my soul need? And then what is the action behind that? Because you would, whoever this is, would also need to have the bravery, integrity to be like, yo, I gotta do this. That means doing a little bit of overtime. That means doing a little, a lot, a lot a little more, okay? For the things you want, things you need. If this past person wants to come back in, they would have to abandon everything that they know already that they were taught or that they've experienced they'd have to heal that and the best way to heal is to get out of that toxic area so take a look around you and say you know okay this is not very healthy for me not healthy for my foundation not healthy for my future so you have to get grounded you have to step into your divine energy your leadership energy as the queen of wands and the king of pentacles your energy male or female you have to get grounded in your insecurities with the empress in reverse this is how you will receive justice is by being brave and analyzing yourself let's say this is you divine feminine divine masculine empress or emperor in reverse what is it that what is justice look like for you and don't worry about how much it costs to get out of somewhere. You need to start planning, manifest. What does it feel like to have, I hate this example, but what does it feel like to have $10,000? What does it feel like to have a relationship? Feel. That's how you manifest. What does it feel like to hold someone's hand, whether you want to or if you're okay with not holding hands? What does that feel like? security comfort and attachment <laughs> but it's a nice attachment so this person here needs to analyze what is in their vicinity and how to move forward and if we are instilling that they are not capable just hear me out then that's what you're manifesting for them why am i saying that you may be manifesting this for them when we have sex, right, we have our souls are intertwined. And unfortunately, the things that they want to manifest for us are not healthy. Stalemate, road blockages, spitefulness, irritant. So you can do the same thing to this past person as well. Your souls are still connected. There's no soul. I don't see anything about soul cutting. So where's that if you really want to set this person free have a session have spiritual baths made cut the cord and it's not like one-time deal cutting the cord is multiple it's three th three jobs to do one thing please set this person free properly or you're gonna keep manifesting the same silhouette and bullshit because there may be things that are unhealed within yourself spitefulness and that should not be for some of you i'm hearing a hidden child okay take what resonates <sighs> judgment on children is here judgment on the soldier constantly thinking about you constantly breathing you in and breathing you out this can't be 
nostalgia of the good times this has to be let go and if this is not you this is the past person which is why we have the soul cutting sessions my soul cutting sessions are two hours long we do it a few times This person is an energy vampire. This empress in reverse is past person that you let back in energetically. For some of you or in the physical, it's an energy vampire because there are insecurities there. So you need to be aware of who is in your vicinity, who's drinking your energy, your cup. Okay, because some of you are not for everyone. And here they are mixing drinks mixing your energy with others this person is stealing right in front of you okay so just be aware just be aware why be prepared for the new moon okay i don't know illusions are there be prepared for these illusions that are coming this is for your discernment this is for your awareness Yes, we're gonna cut the shit early, but we're prepared. We are street cats, right? We're aware of what's going on already before the shit happens. Highly intuitive, high priestess, queen of cups energy. You're smelling it. You smell shit before it happens. Prepare for these illusions at all costs for your future. Okay, you already manifested an ending. Don't manifest solutions moving forward. Manifest that it's done. Find yourself someone that can truly work with you. And nothing is free, unfortunately. King of Cups in reverse. This person, but this person of your past already talked against you, worked against you. There's absolutely no transformation, no change. Eight of Pentacles did no work, but you're at a Nine of Pentacles. You did all the work. If they feel the entitled, which is the emperor in reverse, there's no change for this person. You did the work. This person wants to benefit off of your foundation, your energy, your, I'm hearing looks. So you're fucking an accessory to this person. I'm hearing Scorpio moon, Scorpio moon. This is not the first time. I don't know if it's someone in the collective. This person feels entitled to your energy and how much work you've done. Nine of Pentacles, you've made a completion with this person. Your ancestors are like, oh no, no, we're done. I'm hearing dragging, like dragging. Your ancestors may be dragging this person through karma, okay? Be prepared. Be prepared for the trickster energy. Absolutely. Do what you gotta do. Whatever that means to you. Look, you're showing up as the Queen of Wands and the King of Pentacles. And this person would be showing themselves grounded, but they're emotionally not grounded. They're emotionally manipulative. This is a love bomb or gaslighter. They're going to lie to your face. There's no transformation, but you have done this transformation. You have grown. They have not. So this person will return and they're on. They look. Oh my gosh. You're minding your own business. You're working your ass off, right? And this person's energy, the silhouette of them comes back in the middle of work and you're just like, no, don't, you gotta go, dude. Okay, there's no change. That's why there's judgment or karma being issued out to this so karmic soulmate or soulmate. Again, there is a hidden child or children here. It's something about the number seven, seven months already. Uh, something's here about seven. Or higher learning is here, number seven. My left ear is ringing. You don't like what I'm saying. Please bounce. I see you, my dude. The full card. Yeah, you already see this per why did I just say, I see you, I feel you, and I block you, okay? Which is what you're saying here as the Page of Swords, saying it respectfully in the upright. This is also a message that's being blocked 
out of fear. There's fear here. This person may be in their south node in their birth chart, which is about fear. Which is about not being able to be brave. There's no bravery. You're standing up for yourself. You don't even have a shield. You got a sword. You're just like, okay, sword of truth. This is my personal truth. I know what's going on. So where are you? King of Cups in reverse. Emperor in reverse. King of Pentacles. This person's not ready for you. Ever was ready for you. There's no love there, which is why you stand up. If this person in the next column in the vertical read here, the Seven of Swords, and in the horizontal read, the full card in reverse, there's no new beginning in theft. Fake profiles or not, I know. I see, I know, I am. Okay? There's no love there. For some of you, it was supposed to be a one night stand. This living, breathing monitor spirit comes back in, shots fired. <laughs> The moon card coming back. The fucking moon phase, bro. This is moon magic. This is... It's to come back. To nothing. The, hi the Hierophant is in reverse. This person wants you out in the cold. This person doesn't want you to have a foundation. They're projecting the X-Men shit. Okay? So that you have a lack mentality. So that you have this physical grief. This sadness attachment to you. So that you feel that you're not worthy. That's bullshit. You know who you are. And half of these people that want to attach to you don't even know who they are. Which is why you have to cut out what you have to cut out so that they can learn. Because we're doing it out of tough love. We Actually, the Queen of Cups is you always want the best for someone. There's no manipulation there. This person shows up as the King of Cups in reverse. They want you out of the cold. They want you to feel that you don't have a home, that you're not stable, that you're mentally unbalanced. Fuck that. With the moon card here, you have such a deep knowing. You already know their intentions. I just burped so that's legit. It's a shame that they didn't see you before you saw them. But you still let them in. Why? Unconditional love. Because opportunities and chances. Because we've done this before. And this time you've... They've failed the test again. In this lifetime. This person has a reoccurring dream. I heard I haven't had it in a while. But that dream is you. Whatever animal that person saw, that animal is you. Here it is, the dream. It was a warning to protect your partner. It was a warning to be in alignment with your higher self and your divine counterpart. But they didn't do that this lifetime again over and over okay there is new love here but you needed to hear this message about your past person and their night terrors because the shit keeps showing up here so for some of you hidden child for some of you car sex for some of you you have a mother figure or a virgo energy or an empress in reverse Again, if you cut someone off, they have to respect it. They got to respect your decision. Um, let me in, let me in. No, double card in reverse. Okay, stand up for yourself uh, without being, you know, showing all of your teeth and claws, you know. To Page of Swords, you're already sending a message. Okay. Temperance in reverse. Uh, this person of your past may have put you in competition and or your new person um, 
you may have been the third party because I see that this person may have had a foundation that they went back to. Uh, okay, and they're seeing that there's no growth there. There's no opportunity to grow in that foundation that they're in. So there's a heavy decision that needs to be made. There may be a time period where you're not talking to this person. Okay, stop. But I do see that there's incredible change and there's an offer here of friendship, companionship. But they're going to have to... I'm feeling like uh, this person is enamored by you. Like they're really like, wow. <laughs> they see you and they're just like, wow. But they see more than the exterior. It's the, the intellect and who you are. That's what they see. <sighs> Which is great. Thank you for your patience, y'all. They like this idea of companionship, by the way. They're attracted to it. Yeah. Two of Swords in reverse, the Two of Pentacles in reverse. <laughs> this person. This person will protect you. Not that you need protecting, right? You don't need protecting. Your cups, queen of cups, king of cups, your your cup already has spikes on it. My ear is ringing, so you guys are resonating good. That's okay. Someone says the new person hasn't shown themselves. What does it feel like? You're manifesting this new energy, right? What does this person feel like to you? Your custom energy. What do they feel like? What does love feel like to you? I've related it to a hot or warm cup of coffee in the morning and you take that sip and it just heats up your entire body, right? That's love to me. <laughs> Waking up and seeing that person there. That's love to me. Safe and adventurous, that's beautiful, yeah. Always spontaneous, or not always, but ready, adventure, curiosity, exploration, and growth, the wonder, that is beautiful. Warm and fuzzy, yeah. That's what love should feel like. Not being um, tested, because I feel like this person of your past tested you in multiple ways, <laughs> okay? And that energy fucking still comes around and still tests you. And that's okay because there were things that you needed to learn so that you can manifest your real person. This one's to show itself. Uh, please unblock me. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh at the dude. We'll use this deck next, okay? So this person coming towards you, it's a lot of inner conflict, a lot of emotions safe and trusting absolutely and i mean trusting for some of you your past person let me not even she's saying say it for some of you your past person may have had a horrible experience in relationships you know possibly juggling two people or they it's happened to them and then they do that to you so it blows my mind someone explained i ask source that all the time The dark night of the soul is here. So this person needs to hone in their inner conflict, their emotions, this new person. There's two people, you see these rocks in the background. These blockages are so far apart, they're nowhere near each other. So the fear and the instability is out of the way. It's behind this person. This is what this person needs to realize that it's not as bad as it seems. And also, there's land here, and there's opportunity to reach new heights. They're deep in their emotion. There's a lot of opportunities in the Two of Swords. You have the background, the land here, you have two here, islands. There's bridges to each elevation. 
And I feel that the person that you're dealing with sees that there's no growth there for this person. So let this person have their isolation, this dark night of the soul. They want to only give to you. I feel that you may only want to give to this person too. Page of Cups. This is inspiration. This is excitement. Even if it's tapping into your inner child and being like, Leo, let's do fucking, let's do this today. What do you think? This person doesn't want to give to anyone else. Six of Pentacles in reverse. They want to give to you. And you want to give to this person. There's heavy attraction. This is what I'm talking about. The adventure that you're looking for, that you want to manifest is here. Feel that excitement. And honestly, you guys eat, saw a video of me eating sushi by myself. <laughs> Go do shit by yourself. Some of you already do. Some of you don't. Okay. <clears throat> Which is go watch a movie by yourself. Go get the biggest bag of popcorn and maybe don't eat it all. But <laughs> go explore. Go do things that you like to do. You may find your person there. Heavy attraction, a lot of passion, a lot of action is here with you and your new person. And you may be all about this energy. I'm a turtle. Oh my god. You may be all about exploration, attraction. And this is a be careful fast sex is here. Okay. Ew, I just heard it's been a while. So yeah, okay, I understand. So be careful, y'all. Wear protection. Bendiciones, maferefun. This person reflect reflecting things. We I just heard a dog bark. So this is a loyal friend, okay? <laughs> Two of Pentacles in reverse. They're really wow. Like this person's like, who is better? <laughs> who the fuck is better? Who's better, Divine Feminine? They're making a heavy duty choice. It's a long term choice, it seems. Okay, which is why they're in the Two of Swords, the Hermit card. Some of you are asking why is it taking so long? Just be patient. Okay, Hermit card is here. Go within some more. Higher learning, keep learning, exploring. Watch documentaries that are going to expand your mind if that's what you're after. Or activities you like to go after. This person, they just have to, the, whoever this is for you, they're lacking confidence. They're lacking confidence in whether you'll take this, if it's enough for you, okay? This person doesn't know if they'll, they'll be enough for you, just so you know. Strength card in reverse. They also play chess. They know that you play chess, okay? You're ahead of the game. You're very intuitive. Okay, they need to, and this person will defend you as well. Again, I feel like this person's like, yeah, I'll fuck them up. But then they're kind of like, uh, like that's the vibe I get with the King of Swords and the, the uh, strength card in reverse. Aw, uh, the cowardly lion is what they just said. But nevertheless, that cowardly lion had a lot of heart and a lot of bravery, integrity behind him, no? Wizard of Oz. Okay. So, <laughs> this person with their friendship offer, this person with this, they don't want to give to anyone else and they don't, you may not want to give to anyone else. Your time and time is valuable, no? Time is energy. But if they had completed this, we got the 1010. So, angel number 1010 may be for you. Check out angel number 1010 on Google. Ten of Swords with every ending is a new beginning. A new be beginning is always, there's an end, right? One door opens, the other one closes. But this is a beautiful opportunity for happiness, for a wish for fulfillment. Okay. Ending whatever situation that is not fulfilling in any shape, way, or form. You know, what is it that you want? And what does the Ten of Cups mean to you? Let me know, put it in the chat, what the Ten of Cups means to you. Okay, so there may be a heavy betrayal here. Here, 
Is someone from Jersey here? Okay, from the shore, I don't know. But what does the Ten of Cups look to you? What does it look like? See Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny with a free Fandango movie ticket when you spend $35 at Applebee's. Give hell, Indiana Jones. Emotional fulfillment. Yeah. Content. Family. Opportunity. Expansion. Happiness. Complete fulfillment. Yes. Excellent, guys. Thank you for responding. <laughs> So this is a wish fulfillment, health, family, feeling supported, community, loving, caring, loyal, faithful provider. And the good thing is, is both of these people can be the best provider for the future. It doesn't have to be one-sided. And I feel like their past relationship was one-sided. Maybe, and most likely, your relationship of your past was one-sided. And I feel that there will be a nice, beautiful balance between both of you, whether it's housework, whether it's running, let's for, for example, I'm here running Guardians of Our Galaxy, Botanica LLC by myself, right? Uh, and my moderators, my bad. <laughs> so it's, there would be balance, okay? There's no balance here, but there's a new beginning here. I feel like you gave a lot you and this new person gave a lot to this relationship. I feel like you both feel like you are stolen from energetically. The time, there's no time there. Excellent, yeah. Pull tarot for yourselves, yeah. Oh my gosh. Happy, honest, faithful, and trustworthy. Beautiful. Nice, John, thank you. Yeah, this is a new opportunity for long-term wish fulfillment and also this is a reminder the ten of swords and the ten of cups is it ain't always fucking rainbows right there may be things and just like a cat i love relating shit to cats i'm sorry or even a dog you know whatever point is is that cats like to be pet in a certain spot you just can't go after their butt area they might bite you okay some cats like it some cats don't so there may, may be things that you both agree on and not agree on so obviously that's just something very simple. Hey, welcome back. Ten of Cups feels like solidarity, love, building a new world. Absolutely. Your own personal world with this person. And they're going to be able to bring whatever it is that they want to bring in. Hey, what do you think of this? Can we do this? Can we try this? Exploration is here. New opportunities are here. Oh, man. Oh, my candles are burning out. You guys are eating my candles. And dogs like to be... Yeah, absolute. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is really cool. Yes, okay. So Spirit is saying, uh-uh, no sex. Okay. And I'm... <laughs> There's no sex just yet okay don't do it okay don't jump the gun i'm serious it says it here don't give it there's no sex if you're celibate for a hot minute stay celibate because it's gonna get very smoky with you guys look it's i'm telling you it's not me because i feel i feel that in your past i heard that loud and clear good let us live our lives. <laughs> yeah, listen, but that's the shit. I feel that some of you have jumped the gun and was like, yeah, let's do car sex was the thing that I fucking heard before. You kinky people. We've been there. <laughs> okay. Look, moving fast. Attraction. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Okay. This is a karmic cycle. This is a behavior you need to stop. It's not me. It, look at how it... Look it. There it is. You see the world card in reverse? Do what you want. But there's a stop twice. It's a karmic cycle. Karmic behaviors. Y'all nasty. <laughs> Here. Let's hear more. So, <laughs> car sex was earlier. But this is... um. 
Some of you may be exhibitionists. That's exciting. I'm celibate now. I agree. It's, it's, see, I personally, not to be, it's whatever. It's our platform, right? The car was in April. <laughs> Get the fuck out. Do what makes you feel free. But as long as this person understands your boundaries, understands what's going on, and it's balanced, okay? This person may not be into that shit. Um, you may be more wild, okay? <laughs> you. And that's fine. But just remember, moving too fast is why the karmic cycles occurred, okay? You gotta stop here. Two stops. I'm trying. I want to see if I pick up anything else from this. Ta-da! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Can I say that? I don't know. She says no. Okay. Yeah. I Yeah, this person, I gotta be real, they feel that you might reject them. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay. Hey. Welcome back. This person may feel that you may reject them. There's a lot of fear in this person. Or if this is your past person coming back to have some nookie time with you, they're saying absolutely not. Just like as this wax fell off. No. Because this person already laid down with someone else, okay? Know your worth. Okay. So, Queen of Swords in reverse. You don't want to be juggled. You shouldn't be juggled. Queen of Swords with the Two of Pentacles. You know your respect, your worth. You are not property. And you are not on fucking layaway, right? So that's what this says here. No cheap shit. Knight of Cups in reverse. You're redirecting the X. You're redirecting this sexual uh, sex magic that's being made in the background from your ex. I feel that this masculine will also cut off or whoever your this person is, whoever this new person is, they may do the same. I feel that this past person of theirs have use sex as a weapon okay you're saying absolutely not with the knight of cups and then we have the queen of swords and the going within like uh. <laughs> yeah they understand this both people understand king of swords this King of Swords here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, for the new person and past person here, they're learning, but they're scared of you, this past person of yours. They know that they can't come back. They have a heavy duty understanding, okay? They show up as the King of Wands in reverse, and the King of Wands in reverse is non-commutal, reckless sex, um... They're just not ready, no longevity, no respect, no... This person's even scared. I mean, I gotta be real, it's unattractive if you ask me. I'd rather want someone that's gonna actually mean what they say and do what they say, right? Non-communal, and they, they're wanting to come back in. This new person of yours, they will defend you. This new person of yours, will not be like this past person. I know. Spirit says not ready. So this new person, this past person, if you're looking to reconcile, they are not ready, okay? Both parsecs, all right, I don't know. Male or female? The last pile. The Lovers, the Eight of Swords in Reverse. <laughs> Did 
this past person is not going to give up. Ooh, sorry, y'all. Oh, that's why. Excellent. It's my table. My homemade table. This past person, I'm telling you, would love for nothing to be friends with you because you're grounded and you're financially stable. <laughs> Two of Cups in reverse. This could have been a, a twin flame connection. This could have been a karmic twin flame connection. The lovers with the Two of Cups in reverse. <clears throat> no new beginning. They can't come with you. Page of Wands in reverse. You have new love on the table, period. All right. The lovers in reverse. Uh, excuse me, the lovers. If I line this up, this would be a karmic twin, a life lesson, or this could have been a twin flame connection. Take what resonates, okay? Whatever resonates for you. There's no new beginning. You have to focus on your finances. <clears throat> they want to be friends. There's no friends. There's no white flag. There could be, if you actually do the work, I feel, there could be a connection there if you do the healing and take your time. If you can be celibate and if you can drop all the toxic behavior, people, places, and things and show me, then there could be an opportunity there. But I don't think this person wants to drop all these people for you. Okay. They're going to have, as I say that, the Ten of Wands in reverse. The fear of letting go of these people, places, and things. Materialism. Fucking who gives a fuck? These are people that love you on the weekend. These are people that love you temporarily. That don't have the best oh, for you. I'm just over here using my herds app. You understood the mission, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. You got rid of these people, places, and things. And this negative thinking or this fear of thinking. But they still want to make this offer of friendship. Uh, and this past person, excuse me, this new person, they're going to have to do the same thing as drop any connections that are not for their highest good. This new person has to get out of this fear and comfortability. They have to drop whatever they're comfortable with. I posted that video with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Thank you so much. And it was, he was saying, you know, I don't like to be comfortable. I don't like to be comfortable either. Yes, test me, universe. Teach me. Grow me. Expand me for the next lifetime. I don't know what you guys are after, but me, uh, evolution. So we come back here, we do it again. Except I have the better tools because I've communicated this, what I wanted from the universe to be tested. Yeah, sure. But this person here, this new person would love to offer you friendship or this could be a gift. This is communication though, heavy. So you guys may be in communication. You are not in communication. It will be in fruition. For some of you, they're going to have to go back to their immature energy and observe the things that they need to continue to grow. Past or new person. Okay, my nose is itchy, so that could mean someone wants to fight, what's up? Or this is absolutely true. Take what resonates. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse and the Three of Cups is gossip, slander. Now this person's looking at their mature and immature energy, the shit that they put out. And also this new person would be looking at whatever it is that they've been dealing with that is bullshit. That is gossipy. They're both looking, these two people, new and old, are looking at the things that are not growing. They're looking at their own foundation and how much they've grown and what needs to go. They've seen that you've cut out these energies, people, places, and things, which is excellent. Self-actualizing is spectacular, and which is why I'm saying to you guys, in this isolation, make sure there's nothing old that needs to that's still there get rid of all old energy clothes i mean my clothes now can fit in literally one cat one drawer i don't <laughs> so what are the things that you need to get rid of okay what do you got to get rid of that you're holding on to as i say this the four pentacles what needs to go 
people, places, things, materialistic things, okay? I didn't do it on purpose, it's just how it is. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. What are things that need to go? Old ideologies of yourselves, uh, old patterns, you know? It's okay to let go, and who gives a fuck if someone's like, oh no, but I thought you always like this. You thought wrong, my dude. I don't know. <laughs> you thought wrong. Okay. Ready for growth. You don't know me. I don't know. So let's get some of these here. So continue to manifest this new energy, this new energy that you're pulling in. Okay, bye. What does it feel like? What do I what do I feel like? Okay, what am what are my energies when I'm in that situation? What am I going to feel like? Yes. What does... How do I feel when, when I'm happy? How do I feel when... I'm excited or curious? What does that feel like energetically in the body? What does that feel like? Adrenaline? Uh, nervousness? You know, like, oh my god, yes, I'm excited. You know, what does that feel like? That's what I'm talking about. And that's how you're going to manifest this new job for some of you. Some of you may want to hold amber, okay? You may need a piece of amber, okay? Get a raw piece of amber and jasper, raw, okay? Y progreso. And we're going to move on. Number seven is here and it's about law. Higher learning. Really? I feel like we... All right. Okay, I split the deck and we have I am obsessed with you. Forbidden fruit, temptation, and chemistry. Which is that Knight of Wands energy... Ace of Wands energy. <laughs> Do what you want. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, it says here, it's so hard not to tell you how much I miss you. Restrictions, blockages, third party influences. Okay. Third parties are still a, a factor in this person's life, whether they're new or uh, old person. You are too good for me. Okay. This these two masculine or feminine energies say towards you, you are too good for me. Low self-esteem, the empress in reverse, male or female, the emperor in reverse, male or female. It says here, low status, insecurities are here. You are too good for me. Earth angel. The first card out is I want, hmm. <sighs> I want you now, kiss me. Spontaneous, reckless, Knight of Wands energy, <laughs> which is what I said. Okay, spontaneous and reckless and adrenaline. Okay, that is exciting. I'm not gonna lie. But we're gonna be good, right? We're learning. Okay. Okay, so in reverse, this is not you. It says here, I have multiple masks for every situation. Uh, two-faced, unstable, uh, uh, unstable identity. They don't know who they are, okay? Playing the victim, or they do know who they are, but they play very well in their hidden intentions towards whoever they're interacting with. The King of Swords is very, this is someone who can read the room, okay? And then act accordingly. They read your body language, they see who you are, and they adjust. It's a shapeshifter, okay? The same cards are showing <laughs> the next card out is i can't forget your smile okay happy moments memories and nice teeth you have nice teeth divine feminine divine masculine okay they love your smile uh new or per old person 
it says here, I meet you. Oh, okay, excuse me. I meet you when my partner is away. Uh, so, the third party situation, the competition is here. Um, so, they meet you when your partner's not there. Okay. Did you know this? Put it in the chat. Did you know? Ha! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I think you got us in the daytime. Nighttime is much more no filter. It says here, I thought the grass was greener on the other side. Okay. This person, this person may be, you know... I mean, if you're fucking in the same toxic energy or community, maybe it's not so green there. Okay, that's what the deck it says here. I am not looking for anything serious in reverse. This could be the King of Wands in reverse that we saw the player energy non-commutal. So you, again, you have two people here in this reading. Oh, I don't like this card. It says here... In reverse, I'm watching your every day. I'm watching you every day from a fake profile, collecting information, adjusting, calculating, knowing. Okay, this I feel like this person ain't here anymore. Okay, reminiscing the past and jealousy. Please look at this card. Okay, and concern is please don't give up on our connection. So your new person, uh, your past person, you know, please don't give up on our connection. Uh, past person wears many masks. This past person thought that the grass was greener. This new person loves your smile. This new person, unfortunately, may meet you when their partner is gone. It says, please don't give up on our connection. Emotional investment. Okay, long-term plans and needing you. Okay, this new person may need you. They still want to learn you, which we saw the two of cups there with the lovers. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have in reverse. I want you more than anyone else. Role playing, sensuality, and excitement. But for some of you, I'm hearing this person wasn't even, that this person was actually scared to do this with you. So it's inside. They need to bring it out. Being loyal to someone scares me, okay? Communication issues, unfaithful, and polyamorous is here, okay? Overall energy. It's so hard to tell you how much I miss you. Okay, this shows up again. I can't stop thinking of you, obsession, night nightly thoughts and stalking let's keep going there's two that want to show up so let's see This past person, my feelings are not genuine. Player vibes, dishonesty, and heartless. And then it says our chapter is over. Okay. Okay. Our chapter's over. This person wears many masks. This person is not genuine in the connection. Then the next two. <laughs> then come tell me. Okay, it says here, you don't know who I am. You reveal my shadow side and I don't like it. Wearing a mask. This is the third mask, multiple masks. It's from the UK, I don't know. It says here, wearing a mask, delusional, hidden, true self. Okay, you reveal my shadow side and I don't like it. Dark side, feeling uncomfortable and confrontational. So there's a lot of fear here. I feel this is your past person. 
I want to make our connection work. I can't stop thinking of you. One more, please. Thanks, guys. It's fun. My charm is poisonous. Is it? I wish I met you before I settled down. Okay. Irreversible numb and sadness. Someone is divorced here. Whether this is your past person, whether this is your new person. All right. So that's been your reading, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Please follow me on YouTube for more readings. Uh, all the moderators, thank you so much, CG. Thank you, Shadi. Thanks, guys, for being here. I'll see you guys later. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Please follow me on YouTube. I appreciate spending time with you. Thank you so much for being here. You all have positive energy and willingness to learn. I meet you in my dreams, it says here. So, yeah. Oh, we did see astral traveling. Okay. Temperance card. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. I will see you soon. Love, light, metal, earth. Thank you for the support.